welcome to the channel in today's video i'm going to show you how to turn your used cooking oil into soap uh it's so simple all you have to do is you know do a proper you know cold process soap making but we're going to include important uh active cleaners and uh, a degreaser so you will need sodium hydroxide obviously if you don't know how to prepare your light water look in the description box below for a video i did on how to prepare live water okay then you're going to we're going to need this active called d limon in a very very important uh degreaser okay it's a very powerful degreaser to degrease you know the oil and make it more effective when washing remember we're going to turn this used oil into cleaning oil like dish oil and you know you can use it to even clean your you know your kitchen towels okay now we're going to include the, another very important active is borax okay so we're going to include borax all the measurements are in the link in the description box so look for that your borax make sure you boil your borax and make sure it's uh it has properly dissolved before you continue boil your borax before you continue and make your lye water okay if you don't know how to do that just look in the description box below for how this is my borax that i boiled and this is the consistency okay i added a bit of water and boil it and i have my d limon in here so all the measurement that i use is in the link in the description box below so do well to look uh at the link so i'm going to i'm going to set some of this aside and i'm going to get to uh so the soap making purpose so remember our um kitchen oil usually have dirt in them so we want to do take yourself a sheaf okay take a sheaf and uh, put cheesecloth inside it we're going to you know pass the oil through to remove all the excess uh dirt okay you don't want dirt to be in our soap so we want to remove the excess dirt from our oil so after that is removed we're going to continue with our soap making this is uh, this is very important this part is very important in making your soap please bear with me my daughter is uh, talking on the background she wants to be heard in the video so please bear with me uh, as I do this, it's a COVID period, you know, we have our kids around. They just want to be part of our everyday life and we have nothing to complain about. So as I was saying, pass your oil through the sheaf, okay? Then when you pass your oil through the sheaf, you know you have removed the dirt in it, okay? So that's the first part. As you can see, you see all the, all the dirt here okay so those are already gone good so then you want to make sure you have uh, this set and ready to go i usually use uh, this to do my to make my soap i like this type of uh, this type of container better so i'm going to transfer the oil back there to continue our remember this is cold process soap making it's just different in there i had a two active ingredients that will help to uh that was going to help us uh to make a very good soap that will help in cleaning remember this is going to be a cleaning soap so now that we have this you want to check the temperature Sometimes I don't worry too much about the temperature of the lye and the, because I do my cold process soap making using each transfer method. But today I'm going to use the regular temperature checking method. I hope it turns out well. Okay. I hope it turns out well. But that's what we want to make sure. Now my, your oil should be more, should be hotter than your lye solution. So in this situation, uh, my light solution is a bit hot. I hope it won't really affect it too much. Let's just hope. So don't forget your borax. Always uh, make sure you mix it before. You don't want it to solidify. I boil this on the stove under low heat with a little bit of water. 
we're going to add this at thick trays and we're going to add the de limoni uh, light tray so the first the next thing we'll do now is to add your light water gently okay add it to water gently be careful when making soap you want to protect yourself so make sure you have your safety google on as you are doing this so add your light water and blend gently so you blend you stop then we'll blend again blend stop when you reach a light trace you're going to add your d limon in So I think we have reached a light trace. Then you're going to add your de limonene. And blend very well. It's the active degreaser, so you want to blend it very well. It's very important, yeah, you blend the de limoni with it. It's very important. It's a very important active ingredient you want in our soap. Now at this stage, you can see it's a bit, it's getting a bit thicker now. You want to now add your borax solution to it. Okay. Add your borax solution to it. Then you continue blending. It's important that you dissolve the borax and water, hot water, not only dissolve, make sure you let it. Make sure you dissolve it very well. So we added uh, the de limoni at light trace, then we added uh, the borax at thick trace. Thick trace means it's thicker, light trace means it's uh, not as thick. We, need, we don't need to worry too much about the dirt in it. Remember, this is just going to be a cleaning soap. You, you don't, you can't use this, okay? To, you can't use this to bathe. This is to clean the dishes, to clean your kitchen towel, your washroom towel, and towel, okay? And I think we are good now. We have reached the consistency where we are going to stop blending. So make sure you have your mold ready, then we're going to pour into the mold. And our cleaning soap is ready. As we count the saponification date. Remember the saponification date when your you know blended oil and light solution turn into oil usually takes uh one month so don't forget so we're going to pour this into the mold so i have my hood mold here so pour it into the mold and uh, if you want to leave some design on it that's perfect you can there's nothing stopping you from leaving any design on it you can make some beautiful swirl if you want, just be as creative as possible. You don't really need color, but if you want to add a bit of fancy color, that's up to you. But I don't waste my color when making cleaning soap. There's no point putting color in. But if you want it beautiful, you know, the creativity is left for you. Just allow your creativity, you know, the creative genius in you to soar so you can add a... 
you know, colorant to this and you can make it yours, make it as beautiful as you like it and uh, just enjoy the process. The most important thing in soap making is that you enjoy the process, okay? The link to this is going to be in the description box below, okay? Just look at the link, you'll find the exact recipe I use to make this beautiful cleaning cold process soap. Now I'm going to add a bit of design to it. Okay, I'm going to make a beautiful swirls. I want it to come out and look different. Okay. I'm using my stair, uh, stirring rod to make beautiful swirl design on it so that when the uh, soap comes out, it's not just going to be smooth. I want it to have beautiful design. Swirling is a very good technique that we use to beautify soap. I have a soaping channel. If you haven't seen it, uh, check the link in the description box below where I make beautiful whole natural soap. I do not have synthetic fragrance or synthetic color to my soap. I'm about all natural, so I make all natural soap, beautiful swirl design, edible succulent natural soap. Check out Pure Blend Soapery, uh, Soapery YouTube channel. You see a lot of beautiful soap, all natural, no synthetic colorant. You will see them there. Perfect. So, some people do ask me, do I need to spray with uh, rubbing alcohol? Uh, this idea that you got, most of us got from uh, the queen of soap uh, making. Um, I don't know her name again. Is it Han uh, of Bramberry? Yeah, she, she gave that good idea. But my, over the top of my different, uh, I think, several months of experience making soap now, I've discovered that you don't really have to spray it all the time with uh, rubbing alcohol because when you spray with rubbing alcohol the rubbing alcohol will end up turning the soap into you know a whitish you know you have this whitish uh, discoloration on top I don't like that so I don't bother to so just make sure as you have it now you cover you cover your soap make sure you have a if you have a good mold that can insulate your soap well you really don't have to worry about that i have this mold that i got from the cold mold i have a link in the description box below for where you can get this mold even the bigger one is very good mold so just cover it and uh, you can insulate it by you know wrapping it with a towel put it in a box cover it up and in the next 24 hours you cut it and you allow it to you allow it to That's, these are some soap I made uh, a few days ago. Beautiful, beautiful soap. So you're going to leave it and allow it to uh, allow excess hair to come in until um, uh, it solidifies, and you can you can believe this soap is natural, right? Anyways, that's uh, for another video. So on this channel, I'll still be making some soap uh, video for. If you want to see my soap video, check out Pure Blend Soapery. Uh, soaping YouTube channel where you can see my beautiful all natural design no synthetic color thank you for watching I hope you enjoy make sure after 24 hours okay you homo the soap you cut it after cutting it then you leave it uh, in a tray and make sure you uh, it's in a place where it's well ventilated after four weeks then your soap is ready to to be used make sure you don't use the soap before four weeks because it might affect your hand because if saponification process hasn't complete and you use it uh, you still have elements of uh, sodium hydroxide in that soap and it can really affect you this is a very very uh, corrosive chemical so thanks for watching everyone if you want to learn more about making beautiful soap like this cleaning soap creative way of making cleaning soap and uh, learn how to make your home skincare product this is a channel for you so click that subscribe button and the notification icon to be notified when i upload new videos thanks for watching